Remember, he was part of the D'Angelo Russell mm -hmm. trade. Uh, Minnesota did not want to spend the money on D'Lo in this offseason, so traded him, and they got Mike Conley, who's actually been really good for them. Yeah, Mike Conley has been really good for a long time. Yeah. Big game for D'Lo, too. Yeah, yes, you know, that's why he was a highest-paid player mm -hmm. in the NBA at one yep. point. You know, but Conley is the type of guard you would want on your team because he's one of those guys who's mistake-free. He doesn't get rattled. Yeah. He also is a, is a great leader. You know, he can come out and put guys in the right position when he's been in the playoffs. You know, when he was in Memphis, he's done a lot of great things throughout his tenure in the NBA. So I think when you got a guy like that can be consistent, get guys in the right place because – we know how loud it can get during the playoffs, but he's one of those guys on the road can settle a team down and put him in the right position. I think he's one of those guys that's going to be an X factor on how they go in the future. LeBron James scored a game high 36 points. Let's go inside the locker room. He's with Brez. What's it been like for you the last couple of days and finishing the way you did today? For me? Um, well, I mean, I got, I mean, yesterday I got an opportunity to watch my son. Um, play the game that he loves to play and do it at a high level. Um, playing for Team USA is always uh, um, it's an honor, and you know my son uh, was very excited about that opportunity to play up in Portland last night at the Hoop, uh, Nike Hoop Summer. So that was that was great to, that the family could go up there and support him. And then um, you know for me to be able to play um, today and you know, play for my guys, and you know, it's a pretty good weekend for our, for our household. You get Minnesota next. What does that mean to you? That we get Minnesota next. That's all. We prep. Um, we start playoff prep tomorrow for them, and um, and we get ready for Tuesday. LeBron, just to, in a one-game situation like that, you played Golden State here a couple of years ago. How much more important is it to have home court in which it's almost like a game seven without being a game seven, just energy-wise, um, if at all? Well, I mean, it's obviously, it's different because you know usually in, a, in postseason you have multiple days to prep for a team. Um, you know, but you got to literally have one day to prep um, and a half a day on game day, but you're kind of locked in on, on everything that needs to be done. But um, for us, it's just good that we don't have to travel. You know, we've been, we, we travel a lot uh, lately, so it's good that we get to stay here, but that doesn't make us, we shouldn't be comfortable. we got to stay on edge and, and get ready for the game. What's the biggest challenge going against that Timberwolves team defensively for you guys? Uh, it's a challenge versus everybody, and, and Minnesota is no different. Um, you know, when you got guys like Cat Anthony Towns and uh, Anthony Edwards, um, those guys can both go for 40 against you and put multiple pressure on you. Um, you got a, you know, a very cerebral, solid point guard in Mike Conley who's been um, in multiple playoff games. So, um, listen, we, we know what we're getting ourselves into, but, um, you know, today we should be enjoy the, rest of the, enjoy the rest of the day with the family, enjoy Easter. But tomorrow when we come together, we got to be super duper locked in and laser sharp and focus on what needs to be done Tuesday night. And today, was this the best you've felt since you've come, you, you've come back? You looked very, very fluid out there today. Everything was, seemed like it was effortless. Um, I was just, just trying to put the work in. And one thing about me, I know results, um, uh, what happened when you put the work in. So that's all it's about. You guys have the regular season win in 9 out of 11. As you mentioned, you had a rhythm personally. But I'd say from late in the game in Utah to the last several games, I just, I think defense. Um, obviously, we hang our hats on the defensive end. We know we're really good. We're, we're defending. We're rebounding. Uh, we're protecting one another, and then we're getting out and doing what we do best, and that's getting from a fast break or spraying out, whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, it's definitely some of the dog days right now as you run out the regular season. But we understand what's 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 in front of us and what's coming about. So. Um, We'll be, we'll, we'll be fine. This team is, what is you like? Oh, this team, I'm sorry, go ahead, BT. I defer to you, BT. Somebody go. What is it, what is it that you like about playing with Bowie? Um, this is a super competitor. Um, you know, and he wants to, he wants to be great. He wants to be held accountable. Um, he's always asking me what he can do better to help this team. Uh, how can he be better to help this team? Because he wants to, you know, not only when he's on the floor, but he wants to be on the floor. And, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, he, we complement each other very well along with, with AR. AR, I compliment myself with AR very well. And obviously we know with myself and AD what we're able to do. But uh, Rui is, um, you know, the more minutes uh, when he knows he's going to play, when he's get that, when he gets that, that routine of, uh, of consistency, you know, he shows what he's capable of doing. Brown, this team has been in playoff mode basically since early February. Since early February. Um, has that had any, do you think, cumulative fatigue effect as to why this really feels like the dog days? And then I guess secondarily, this team has been playing 
super important games for thirty games. How does that give you any comfort for this group as it kind of? Goes? I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, we put ourselves in a position where we can can move on, and uh, that's all we. It's all we asked for, uh, to put ourselves in a position to be able to move on. And, you know, we had a, obviously we had a very, very slow start, like you said, starting, starting 2 and 10. And then, um, you know, we had games that we could have won. We had games that we should have won. We had some, you know, things that didn't go our way. So um, to know where we are today, you know, you can, you know, be happy about that, but not satisfied. So, um, you know, my coach always says it's time to fill our cups back up. We got the rest of the day. We got the rest of tomorrow to, you know, get off our feet, but but it's all going to be in the mind, and then get ready to go out and and, and and battle on Tuesday. It was important for you to be in Portland last night. Um, what was that experience like? <laughs> See Ronnie play in that in that setting, uh, and then obviously a crazy turnaround. Um, yeah. To get ready for today. Um, I wasn't going to miss it. Um, I wasn't going to miss it. I mean, you know, I, I understand how important um, fatherhood is. Um, you know, just coming from a no father household, so I wasn't gonna miss it. And to be able to have my daughter there with me, and my wife there, and my mom, um, it, it means a lot. And we just, you know, we always try to support each other in all our endeavors that we do, either from Bronnie, Bryce, Zuri, you know, Savannah, my mom, you know, and, and, and so on and so on. So, you know, I'm only as good as my family, so um, it makes it a lot, a lot easier when I land late at night last night or this morning and don't get as much rest as I wanted to, but I feel good of coming in here because of, you know, the energy and, and the support that I get from my family. So today was easy. Last question. When was the first time you heard that goat flying? No, who? Oh, these, these <laughs> you're talking about these guys? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> these guys are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, they, they're hilarious. But um, I love my teammates and um, I think I, I fell in love with him even more when I wasn't playing. I think you guys probably seen a lot of my tweets and things of that nature, talking about how much I love this team and things when I was in rehab and, um, you know, and just uh, putting a lot of hours to try to fast track me getting back on the floor. So um, it's great to be around a good group, and good energy, and we all feed off each other. So um, hopefully we continue this going um, for not only just Tuesday, but for even after that. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it.